Three Station, you know who it is, your boy Wild Wayne, got my special guest Monica in studio with me. The last time I saw you, and this is crazy, we were at Rick James' house before he died. Yeah. Me, yeah. you, and, and your brother Tez, acting a fool, drinking up all the liquor. What was it? Uh, um. It was a uh, BT Awards or something like that, and they had a pre-party. Yeah, pre-party. That was right, right, right before he passed. That was a trip. Man. In fact, it was, exact, it was directly before. That was his that last was performance. Yeah. But uh, sure I saw you then, and everything was going on. That's been two, three years. So that was before. No, that's been four years. Four years, I think, right? Maybe so. So that was before you had the baby. Yeah, long before. So how's everything going with motherhood in the industry? It's good. It's good. The main thing for me is being able to really, really let him travel. Okay. As, okay. As, as much or as little as you know what might be really really right so he's doing good with it right now just traveling around. okay you know he does, does good does it get hard sometimes when you got a, a lot of constraints and meetings and performances it and does so what i do is i schedule everything like most people would a nine to five okay you know and when it's over it's right over. that's it you're gonna have to catch me tomorrow yep at nine o'clock yep, that's right do you bring like a nanny on the road or anything with you or your mom how is your mom she's good man she retired the month before i had him so it worked out perfectly, you know, things have been kind of getting in line for us. So it's okay. easier with her being there, because mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about him when I'm out here doing this. You don't want him just any old body, I understand. Oh, <laughs> we don't, I don't want to have to pull those nanny cams up. Uh, oh, boy, yeah, have you no, seen that stuff on TV? It's that crazy. One. But did you see the one where the lady was slapping a baby from left I've, to right? I've seen night? that one. And then, the, you know, the, the issue in St. Louis or Missouri where the kids got abducted just the last yes. few weeks. And yes. they even had one on this morning. A little girl that got abducted. Well, she got away. She was 10 years old. She ran. She busted the door open and ran and went and told somebody. Yeah, it was on CNN this morning. Yeah, yeah so you got to keep them yeah. close. You got to keep real son. close. You know I, I got two sons, son. and he's like the same age, a little bit older, maybe uh, almost a year older than yours. Okay. But I understand, I understand. Yeah. Ain't no more lady does some singing too, and she's always wondering if it gets big, you know, can't have the kids with any old body. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't. But I mean, you do what you have to do. I know a lot of people that have nannies and love it. You know, I was talking to Tiny and mm -hmm. T.I. Collectively have, at this point, six kids. Wow, so really? Can, so they can figure that thing. The Brady Bunch. Yeah, they figured it out. <laughs> you know, his boy and her too. And I mean, wow. you know, so they figured it out and they use nanny. So I think it, it can be, it can all be worked out. Definitely. Okay. It, it definitely doesn't get in the way of handling business. Now, speaking of busy schedules, you're not finished with just a performance today. At 2 o'clock, you'll be going over to the mall, over to Esplanade Mall. Yeah. And I heard you got some words of encouragement and inspiration for the people. We've been through a lot. Yeah. And I know you know a lot of people down here firsthand. So you already know, has it affected some people directly that you deal with? Right. Folks from the ones that deal with Katrina and everything. Right. right. I mean, well, for me, I think that what happens by nature, we get we become accustomed to living in our circumstances. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about what happened, who did it, why they did it. We're so trapped within that, we can't ever move forward. Right. And I don't let yesterday's disappointments get in the way of tomorrow's possibilities. Mm -hmm. If you're too worried about yesterday, you can't move forward. But what I would say is take heed to the fact that we're not in control. And just remember to give God some grace sometimes because I'm not perfect. And you know I'm not a saint. Right. But I still know who controls it all. So at the end of the day, I think it just brought a lot of people back to reality. You know, it caused a lot of devastation. Yeah, but it, yeah. it also brought a lot of people closer. Because you, we get caught up in our every day and we lose sight of what's really important sometimes. Have you had an opportunity to see any parts of the city since after Katrina? Very little. I was so tired when I left Bragg's last right, right, night. Right. I didn't see very much. <laughs> but right, I saw a little, a little bit. A little cross-eyed after the club. <laughs> no, too many Patron.